If you've been exposed to an environment where there's too much noise, your hearing could be permanently damaged. It may be that constant exposure to it makes it get worse over time, or damage caused by sudden, extremely loud noises, or you may get tinnitus, a permanent ringing in the ears. Noise-induced hearing loss cannot be restored, but you can prevent it happening. So in order to establish whether your workplace is too noisy, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Do you have to raise your voice for normal conversation when you're only a couple of meters from your colleagues? Do you use noisy power tools or machinery for long periods of time each day? Are there particularly noisy tasks in your day-to-day -day work? Are there noises as a result of impacts? Is your hearing muffled at the end of the day, even if it's better the next morning? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, you need to discuss this with your supervisor. A meter should be used to measure and quantify noise levels. This will identify if the noise is within a safe range. If the noise level is too high, try to cut down the amount of time you spend in noisy areas. Other noise reduction measures include use a different, quieter process, or quieter equipment, or modify it to make it less noisy by, for example, fitting silencers or anti-vibration mountings. Put baffles or enclosures around noisy equipment to stop the sound traveling too far. Then, after you've taken these steps to control the noise in technical and organizational ways, be sure to wear ear protectors. Reducing noise levels comes first, ear defenders afterwards. Make sure hearing protection is the correct type for the noise hazard and that they are in good, clean condition. For example, earmuff seals should be free from damage, the headband should have the right tension and there should be no unofficial modifications. If you're using compressible earplugs, they should be soft, pliable and clean. Are you prepared?